everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk to you about my July beauty favorites. So let's just jump right in. So I have one foundation to talk about and I did a first impression demo wear test all of that on this foundation. So if you haven't seen that I will link that down below. But it's the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Foundation. This is really great. Um, I would probably recommend this more for people who have either normal to oily skin or combination. Maybe not if you have dry skin, this probably wouldn't work that well for you. It's, it's a liquid to powder foundation, um, which I don't find it to be too drying as some liquid to powder foundations can be. This one is just so fantastic. It blends out really, really easily, but it lasts so well. When I did my wear test, I was outside pretty much all day long, and I did not get oily, which is really impressive for me. I'm combination skin, so I tend to get pretty oily in my T-zone, and especially in the heat, this was just so, so great. So I would definitely recommend this. The only problem is they don't have a lot of shades, so if they don't have your shade, oh, hello, mister. It's our little visitor here. Do you like this foundation too? Yeah, I think that's a yes. The next thing I have is another face product, and this has been really, really hyped, and I have to say that I love it. There are a lot of different shades. So this is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. This one is in the shade Sunlight. So basically this is a liquid highlight, and it is just liquid metal. It is unbelievable. I'll show you what this looks like, and you need so little of this. It comes in a little dropper like this. So there are so many different things that you can do with this. I think that's why I love it. It is pricey, but you don't need a lot. So you're, it is gonna last you a lot longer than you would think, even though it's not a lot of product. This is so versatile. You can mix this in with your foundation, which I've done a lot. And even if you're a little bit combination oily like I am, this is not gonna make you oily. It's just gonna make you glowy, which is really awesome. So you could do that, but then you could also use it as a highlight on top of your cheekbones, anywhere else you want to highlight, or you can even use this as eyeshadow, honestly. It's just very, very versatile. I just put a very, very tiny drop there. Look at that. Oh, this product is so special. I haven't seen anything like it. I will say the only tricky thing about this, and really it's not a problem, it's just that you have to be aware of it and work with it, is that it does dry really quickly, which is good, but you don't have a ton of time to work with it, so you wanna be really careful. So I actually bought another shade of this because I love this so much, and I'd heard good things about the bronzer shade. They have two shades that are bronzers, um, one that's a little bit lighter, one that's a little bit darker, and it's great to use as a liquid bronzer, but I just found, as much as I love the color, and I really did like how it looked, it's more work to use a liquid product like that, honestly, and for me, I just found that it was so difficult because it dried so quickly. Something like this I can work with, it's not a big deal that it dries quickly because you don't need it to, to stay wet for too long, but something like a bronzer that you're trying to blend out really quickly, <laughs> um, you don't have a lot of time and I was using a damp beauty blender and I just found that I didn't have enough time to blend it out and I was trying to like you know smear it onto my face and it was just way more difficult than what it was worth so I did return it but again that was beautiful the color was so great I loved it but that was just a little bit tricky for me so just a little bit of extra information but the highlighter shades the metallic ones are beautiful so the last face product that I have is the Tarte CC corrector this is in the light to medium shade and this is an under eye corrector so it's a little bit of a peachy shade that you can put to cancel out some of the bluish tones underneath your eyes anywhere you have darkness and this is not new to me, I've had this for a long time, but the reason that it became a favorite was I took it with me when I traveled, and I loved the fact that because it has this peachy tone to it, it's natural enough that I could wear it on its own without another concealer on top. So if I was super busy trying to get out the door on a vacation, I could put this on underneath my eyes and blend it out pretty quickly, and I wouldn't have to put another concealer on top like I would have to if it were a bit darker or more orangey type of corrector. So I loved using this. It really has a lot of great coverage, and I'm just loving this for you know something that covers up some of those tones, but that I don't have to use anything else on top of it. Now I have a face palette to talk about. This is the Becca collaboration with Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Palette. First of all, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. So if you're a packaging person, ugh, it's just beautiful. 
but the product inside is really, really great as well. First of all, I don't want to blind you, but look at that mirror. It is, it's an amazing mirror. I mean, I, I'm not really too big into mirrors and palettes. It doesn't bother me either way if it has one or if it doesn't. Uh, but this one, I, it's big enough that I could actually do my makeup with this. A lot of, yeah, our visitor again, um, a lot of mirrors in products, I feel like, okay, yeah, it's great that it has a mirror, but like, I'm never gonna use it, you know? Like, I'm really not gonna use it. I'm gonna use a bigger mirror. And, you know, it, so it ends up being somewhat useless. But this one, I mean, you could really do your makeup in it. So I like that a lot. But the product inside is even better. So it has the champagne pop there this one right here, but then it also has her new Prosecco Pop, which is limited edition. It's more gold highlight. So, you know, something for everybody. If you have Champagne Pop, you might not want this, but again, it has that tr Prosecco Pop. It also has three blushes in there that are new to Becca. So they're pretty similar, but you know, you can see Prosecco Pop there is much more gold. Champagne Pop has much more um, peach to it. So, you know, if you love highlighters, these, these are beautiful. If you're really, really fair, they may not be good for you, but um, if you're maybe a step away from fair before you get to medium, like I am, then it would work okay for you. Um, everybody's different. I find that these work well for me. I love wearing these highlights. I think that they're great. And I really do love the blushes too. Um, they're just really, really beautiful. And even though this one's pretty dark, you can definitely just have a light hand and it will look really, really great. So I happen to love this and I, you know, I've been wearing it a lot. So definitely would recommend it. It is still available. It's limited edition, I believe, but I do think that you can still get it a lot of places. So I actually have two palettes to talk about, which is kind of crazy. One of them I got a while ago and I did a get ready with me. So um, I will link that down below if you didn't see it but it's not super new. The other one is pretty new. I got it with some of my birthday monies. The first one is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. This is not a new palette and I've had it for a little while, but I just had to talk about it because it is so great. I really love it. And <laughs> it is so colorful, which I love. And yeah, I mean, I guess it can look a little bit scary, but there's a lot that you can do with this if you're just, you know, somewhat creative. And the colors are so pigmented and blendable. I just love it. I mean, I love these purples, but I mean, even the, the blues in here and the greens, I mean, if you love to play with color, this one is a must have. You'll have to see, I mean, the colors are so soft. I'm really barely swatching them and oh my goodness, they are just unbelievable. Oh, look at that. It, they're unbelievable. And I've used, you know, some of these with brushes because of course, I mean, finger swatches can only tell you so much, but I'm telling you that these are so pigmented even with a brush and they blend out really, really easily, especially considering how dark and bold and bright they are. That could be tricky, but they blend out super easily and I just love that. If you like color, like I said, that is a good one. I'm telling you, my dog does not usually wanna be involved this much. <laughs> usually, as you know, he just kind of like wanders around and I mentioned that he makes noise that he's there, he knocks the camera, but he just is wanting to get involved here. He wants to be a part of this video, hi. <laughs> this is my dog Snoop, by the way, in case you didn't know. So the other palette is pretty new. It's the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And this palette is really exciting. First of all, because a lot of the times her palettes are limited edition and this one is going to be permanent. So don't even worry if it's sold out anywhere, you can get this and honestly, you should. This may be another palette where you look at it and be and feel a little scared. I mean, it depends on how adventurous you are with makeup, but even though it has some of these really dark colors here, you can create a really natural look with some of these colors right here, and then just add in some of those colors, and, and you could make a really smoky look too. But this is way more interesting and exciting than it looks to be when you first see it. I had heard so many great things. I really wasn't that interested in getting it when I first saw it come, you know, come out. And even though people were raving about it, I just wasn't that excited. The more that I started hearing about it, it just started to just get into my head and I went and I took a look at it myself. And I mean, it's beautiful, you can't deny that. But honestly, getting it and then using it, that was what made me fall in love with it. Um, I did a tutorial with this one, so I will link that also down below. But Honestly, there's so much you can do with this. I play with this a bunch of times and I come up with these looks that all look very different, but you know, are still nice and warm or neutral. And I love the way that it looks. 
I mean, if you love warm shadows, this is definitely for you. There are definitely some things in here that are not as warm, but a lot of it is pretty warm. But I just, they're just such great colors and they really, they're super pigmented and they blend really easily. They are definitely a little bit powdery, but as long as you are careful and tap off your brush a little bit, it's not a problem. That doesn't bother me. I have a lot of shadows that are like that, like the Kat Von D ones, the Lorac shadows are, are like that as well. And that doesn't bother me. You know, I just kind of blow it off. I tap off my brush and it's, it's worth it. These are such great shadows. It's such a great product. And honestly, I would highly, highly recommend this one. The next thing I wanna talk about is the Milani Liquid Lipstick. This is the Amore Metallics Lip Cream. That's the official title. And this is the color Automatic Touch. Now this goes along with the metallic lip trend that's going on. And I don't know, I was a little bit weary of it. It could look really crazy, I guess. Um, but it looks really, really cool on other people. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money on something like that because, you know, again, it's a trend. So that's number one. Snoop really wants it too, clearly. Um, so I don't love to spend a lot of money on something that's a trend that may not be in style in another year or whatever. Um, but I did want to try it. I was curious. So when Milani was coming out with some, I figured that was a great way to try it because Milani's a very inexpensive drugstore brand and their products are great. I've tried their liquid lipsticks before and I love them. And these are great. So if you want to try this trend, this is a great way to do it. I think they're probably eight or nine dollars. So, you know, not super cheap, but cheap enough, much cheaper than a lot of other ones that you would find. And this color is so stunning as just sort of a bold lip to pair with a pretty natural looking eye. This is so gorgeous. And the formula is great. It dries really easily. I wore this all day long and I ate. And so then I, and it didn't smear everywhere, just a little bit in the middle, it, you know, wore off. I touched it up and then I touched it up again later and it didn't look crusty. It was, you know, easy to pile it back on once it had kind of, you know, smeared away. So I love the way that this wore too. The color is really great, but I love the way that this wore because, you know, I felt like I could touch it up. A lot of times with liquid lipsticks, you know, once they wear off, you kind of have to take it off and start all over. And that is just not something you want to deal with. Um, you know, if you're wearing a lipstick, you know, throughout the day, you don't want to do that. So you'd basically just want to take it off, which is a pain anyway. And, but this one, even though, you know, it was tough to take off at the end of the day, I didn't need to take it off, you know, until that point because I was able to touch it up. So I'll just show you the color really quickly because the color is absolutely gorgeous. And it's not even too intensely metallic, you know, so if you're kind of like, uh, I don't know about this metallic thing. I mean, this is, you know, has that metallic look to it, but it's not super crazy. You know, it just has that little sheen to it, but this it's such a beautiful color, just sort of like a purpley fuchsia color, just absolutely gorgeous. So this color in particular, I love. Last thing, I have two nail polishes to talk about, of course. So the first one is one that I'm wearing right now, and that is Orly Skinny Dip. This one right here, and I'm like I said, I'm wearing it. I love this color. This is such a great summer color. It's the brightest blue. It's just so much fun to wear. It goes on super easily and it dries really quickly too. Each coat you can see it just dries super, super quickly. And I love this one for the summer. Summer is winding down for sure. And I'm excited for fall, excited for fall nail colors and um, excited for my baby girl that comes in the fall too. But um, as long as summer is still hanging around, I'm having fun with colors like this. So I really love this one. The other one is pretty exciting too. And part of it is that I got it at a super cheap price. You have the patience to go through. Um, Ulta usually has like a clearance section for nail polishes. And sometimes you can find some gems in there if you have a little bit of patience. So this was one of them. It was less than two bucks. This is Essie's High Class Affair. And this is so much more interesting and more beautiful than it looks in here. It is just, it's like a peachy nude. Like, you know, you find your perfect peachy nude lipstick. This is the perfect peachy nude nail polish. It's just so great. I love this color. It doesn't even translate through the bottle at all. I'm telling you, if you see this, it, I don't know if it was on clearance because they don't carry it anymore or it's, you know, it was from a previous collection, I guess. But if you can find this, this was so, so great. 
I wore this twice the last month and for me that's a lot. Um, I, I know pretty quickly if I'm gonna love a nail polish color um, and formula too, frankly. Um, but this one I wore twice in the month, which I never do because I love changing up my nail colors. Um, and so the fact that I put this on twice in the month, that says a lot, honestly, for me. So love, love, love this color, and I'm definitely going to keep wearing it. And the great thing is this is good for all seasons. It doesn't, you know, it's not just perfect for summer or perfect for fall. It's any time of year. It's great. All right, everyone, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed my July favorites. I would love to hear what you loved in the month of July as well. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. If you are not subscribed to me already, please hit the subscribe button. I would just love that, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.